Hey guys, it's your girl Carrie, and today I'm going to share with you how I made these mirror invitations using the vintage Dollar Tree mirrors for my friend's daughter's bridal shower. This invitation is elegant, affordable, and unique, and it will definitely get your guests' attention and make them want to attend your event. So let's get started. You'll need a punch, and this is optional. You'll need double-sided tape. You'll need a mirror from the Dollar Tree, and for those of you who are probably going to ask for the SKU number, that's the SKU number, and you'll find this in the section where the hair supplies are. You're going to need a glue gun, a pencil, ribbon in the color of your choice, a scissor, and I prefer a smaller scissor because it's easier to maneuver when you're trying to cut precisely. You're going to need transparent paper. This is, I think it's called vellum paper. You can see it has kind of like a sheen but it's see-through and you can pick that up from your local craft store. You're going to need a bobby pin or something with a very very small edge, a thin edge and you'll see why. And I pull the tips off of the bobby pin. Some bling and that's optional if you want bling. A can of spray paint if you don't want to leave your mirror silver and then you'll need a piece of cardstock paper so the first thing I did was take my mirror and I pried out the mirror insert the glass mirror so that's what I needed this bobby pin for you can find anything that you think would fit down in this groove and work my way around and I pried out the mirror so when I pried mine out it did split but the split was in such a way that I could actually put it back together so I would recommend that you buy one extra mirror just for um, the template and so what I did with this mirror was to take it and I used it to trace a template. So you're going to take your cardstock and put that down and line your mirror up and make sure everything is straight and good to go. And then you're going to just trace it out. And you're going to make two of these templates. Then you're going to cut it out. I have been wanting to make these mirrored invitations for over five years. I wanted to do a beautiful themed spa party for Reagan a while back so that she and her friends could celebrate their differences. Growing up, both uh, Reagan and her older sister struggled with their quote unquote kinky hair type because many of their friends had straight hair or that Becky with the good hair type. <laughs> And I'm not just referring to her white friends. Ray had friends from all spectrums of the rainbow, white, Hispanic, Indian, Asian, and even African. But she didn't want to do that. So now I'm so glad that I had the opportunity to make this invitation for my girlfriend's daughter. So now you're going to take your mirror and take one of your templates that we cut out and place that right on top of the mirror. And you're going to take a piece of your tape, fold it over, and place it on the back of the template, and press that down onto the mirror. And that way it covers up the mirror. And I had figured this out, this would work best, better than trying to pry out all of the mirrors before I spray painted it. I just popped out the one mirror, broke that one, and used this as the template to cover over the mirror so that I could then spray paint it and not mess up the mirror. Now I went into the garage and I just took two canned goods and kind of separated them apart a little bit and I started on the back side of the mirror first. I laid the mirror down on the two cans and I left a little bridge in the middle and what I did then was proceed to spray paint the back of the mirror and I was able to, uh, while it was still wet, I just picked it up like that and this underside wasn't painted yet moved it over and then went on to the next one and when the back sides were dry I just flipped it over on the other side and you see where my template is my template was there and I just spray painted that side and afterwards I just removed the template from the mirror and I ended up with something like this the gold mirror as you can see and it's just that simple so next, we're going to print out our invitation details onto our 
transparent paper. That's what I needed the second um, template for. So once I've cut out this template, I kind of played around and measured it out against my computer to make sure that all of the wording would fit inside of this template because this is what's actually going to go inside your portion. So after I played around with that, what I do is come back and actually fit. As you can see, you can see through this document. I would actually fit everything on there to make sure that all of the wording is on the template. So I kind of adjust it for that. And then once I get it to where it needs to be, I flip it over and then I take my pencil and I trace. And so then you're going to double check just to make sure that all the words are within the template before you cut it out. And the next step is to add your bling. Just take your hot glue gun, add some glue to the back, and you're going to stick that on. So here is the final outcome. I am loving the way everything turned out. And you can definitely use it just as is and not spray paint it if your decor uh, requires silver. I think the silver looks is equally as beautiful. And up here, here's another invitation that we made. Only the AKAs that are attending the baby shower got the mirrored invitation. All of the other guests received this invitation. Now the wording is exactly the same, but the way it's designed is a little bit different. That was simply to cut down on the cost because it cost more to ship these mirrors than it did um, to make them. So we wanted to just make sure that the AKAs, you know, could really appreciate that mirrored uh, invitation and all of the other guests had something that was equally as beautiful. If you would like to see a video on how I put together the second invitation, leave a comment below and I will definitely do that tutorial for you all. And until next time, I'm going to keep calm and carry on. Bye guys. Thank you.